Hi, in this video I'm going to discuss box plots. Box plots uh, constitute a uh, visual representation of the data. They show us the extreme points as well as the maximum and the minimum points in the data and also give us a very beautiful representation of how the data has been distributed. Uh, so in order to get your box plot you can go to analyze, you can go to descriptive statistics and explore. Under explore uh, uh, here as you see I have four data sets, uh, four uh, variables uh, they represent four sections of a language test, a listening comprehension test so what I'm gonna do is to move uh, the first section that's the scores of the students on the first section to the dependent list and that will be just pretty good enough for me to go ahead with it uh, and under statistics what I would like to look at is outliers and click continue and under plots uh, by default we usually have stem and leaf what I would like to do is to uncheck it and check off uh, histogram and uh, also look at normality plots and tests and then click uh, continue uh, at this point it will be fine to click OK because you, you're gonna get a box plot for section now if you wanna uh, get separate box plots for separate groups of people for example you wanna separate them based on their nationality you can move nationality to factor list for this presentation I'm not gonna do that because my aim is just to get a simple box plot at this point and explain uh, the fundamental concepts that we will need to know about box plots so I'm gonna click OK and there we go. So a box plot has been generated for me here. Uh, the first uh, table shows uh, the percentage of the valid data. I have 209 cases, all of which have been valid, and therefore there is no missing cases. This is pretty good. This is what I expected. And actually, you can validate it once again. You can go through your data, as you see. I have uh, um, this is case one under section one and I cr uh, quickly scroll down to case 209 so I don't have any if you look at this column here uh, carefully you'll see that I don't have any missing values unlike the variable age where the uh, first column is missing which is represented by a dot if you scroll further down you can see a lot of other missing values here under age but luckily for me I don't have any missing values for section one. Then I go back to my data, uh, so this makes sense to me. Now, uh, this uh, descriptive table is very helpful because it provides me with a number of statistical measures that also describe my sample. So if you're asking what's the, what's the bigger picture here and why we're looking at this, this is just a description of the data set that we have gotten. Uh, so the first description is the mean. The mean is 6.18 uh, and also I'm also interested to look at let me just uh, double click on this so it will be active uh, this uh, the minimum and the maximum points are also important for me to know because they will be represented on my box plot later as you see the minimum is 0 and the maximum is 10 uh, and the medium is 6 so uh, the median, median and mean are pretty close to each other. So when the mean and median are close to each other, you have some indication that your data may be normally distributed. So let's keep this in mind, keep minimum and maximum and also the median uh, statistic in mind and scroll down. Um, I have discussed, uh, discussed this in another video. Uh, this, uh, this is uh, Kolmogorov uh, Smirnov and Shapiro-Wilk which are statistics for uh, checking the normality I'll leave uh, the video the link to the video in the comment section you can take a look so this is a histogram that's not what I'm interested in and this is the QQ plot that's also not what I'm interested in what I'm interested in is is this one this is called the box plot so in this box plot uh, uh, we have this section right uh, this section here and then this section here is represented by a different color and then another section right on top these lines are also known as whiskers you know 
So the first thing that we need to look at here is the minimum and the maximum uh, scores on this box plot. As you see, the minimum is zero. This line here, right at the bottom, this sort of uh, horizontal line, indicates the minimum. So the minimum is zero. This is what we already saw in the table above. And this line, the horizontal line here, represents the maximum of the data, which is actually 10. So this is another thing that the box plot can easily generate for us. So by just uh, taking a quick look, you can identify the minimum and the maximum. Now there's another line here right in between, that's the central point, which is actually the median, which is around 6. Yeah, it's exactly the same thing. So the median is all, always inside the box itself. In this uh, uh, presentation, the color of the box is blue. Well, so anything that falls within the any line that falls within the box is the median. Now there are three more um, sections here that I, I need to go through and discuss.